Huh, rain in the background. Well, you can't get much more real world tests than this. Alright, welcome back friends. So in a previous video, huh, the fridge just kicked on. <laughs> in a previous video, we actually installed a solar panel on my Jeep and then the solar control and all the other stuff with it in order to run my fridge. But now it's time to test it. Let's see how long this 100 watt panel will actually run my fridge. So let's roll out some testing parameters real quick. I put a gallon and a half of water inside the fridge and I took the Jeep for a quick drive, about 20 minutes, just to help the fridge cool down and not drain the entire battery since the fridge was sitting at about 80 degrees inside. So the fridge is set to 36 degrees and currently it's sitting at 35, it just kicked on. Uh, because of that, the battery on the solar controller is sitting at 13, it says 13.2, so I'm assuming the panel is putting power into the battery to counteract that. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there, but that's where our battery is sitting as a reference point. And then what we're going to do is I have a camera sitting right here on the tailgate that's going to point directly at the fridge and it's going to do a time lapse the entire time to see what's going on. This will tell us if at any point in the night the fridge hits like low power cutoff and turns off and stops running. Uh, because I won't really be able to see that since I'm not having the Jeep open. I'm not going to check it uh, all night long and watch it. Uh, as far as checking it, I'm going to open it up once a day. Um, I don't know when I'll open up, but I'll just open it up once a day just to take a look. All the doors to the Jeep are going to be shut. All the windows are going to be shut. Uh, everything is going to be shut. The Jeep is not going to run. It's purely going to be off solar. So with all that said, I think it's actually time just to start the test. Oh, one other thing too. You could see we have a few storms rolling in and that is going to mess with our solar panel output a bit, obviously. But this is good because this is real world testing here. So. Uh, with that, we're actually going to see, like, you know, what's the probability of running the panel like this without perfect conditions? Because down here near Death Valley, we get a lot of sun. So it's kind of unfair to put this thing in the middle of the sun and just expect it to not work, honestly. But with the clouds being in the evening and turning on the fridge right now, um, I think this is kind of a fair test. So with that, let's turn the camera on, let's get the test going, and let's just see what happens. Everything appears to be operating correctly. Let's check some of the water. Yeah, it's cold. So, I'm surprised. I'm pleasantly shocked. Everything operated how it was supposed to. Um, I didn't notice the fridge air out once from low voltage and I noticed the battery stayed very charged the entire time. Now the average temperature between the days, some days uh, we had like a little cold front come through and so it cooled down to about 70s, 80s during the day and then towards the end of the test it ramped up to about 105 uh, was the hottest we got. Today, uh, today was 105 as well, so for two days. Now also during the middle of that test we had quite a few clouds come in as well so we didn't have complete sunlight the entire time and the panel is definitely not out peak output from that. So, I'm really impressed. I think this system is going to function really well. And not only did it run the fridge, it also ran two cameras the entire time. Now, you'll notice that the time lapse was a little funky. Uh, the Sony camera looking at the uh, charge controller, it ran the entire time without a problem and was flawless, except at night. It looks like it's a little dark, so it's hard to see the actual charge controller. Uh, what are you going to do? But the GoPro, I had to actually switch out the GoPro, and then even this one I had a problem with. I couldn't keep them running, and then finally I, I was able to keep them running for a little while. 
uh, but I had a hard time keeping them running uh, through the entire time. So uh, there were some spots in there where this did not catch what the fridge was doing. However, I was checking the fridge frequently to make sure that everything was still operating correctly and it did and uh, nothing aired out. And the battery at night when I was checking as you saw in the video, looked like it settled out about 12.8 when the panel was um, basically turned off from the charge controller. And if I remember correctly, that's a full battery anyway. So the battery stayed full, the battery stayed completely charged. And um, yeah, we ran it for five days straight without the Jeep moving, without it starting or anything like that. that I'm, I'm, I'm completely impressed, I really am. That's, uh, that's an awesome system. I didn't think it would function that well. I thought I'd get a few days out of it and then have to kind of start the rig. I thought that would just, uh, the panel would just help not actually completely keep everything charged and running. So this is kind of changing my outlook on what I can do back here uh, with the Jeep. So, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like what's going on the channel, hit subscribe down below. I really appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video.